Hello and welcome back to another I Am Tony Graphics tutorial. It's been a long time, but I'm glad to be back. I want to first say thank you to all my supporters and new subscribers that have joined the team. I have a great tutorial that I'd like to show you all today. Today, I'm going to simply show you how to carve into the wood on a computer, Photoshop, and make it look elegant and real, realistic, and nice. So we're going to start with my new company, In-House Graphics, the logo for that. Basically, we're a brand design company and we print t-shirts and control people's brands. So if anyone out there is looking for screen printing for dirt cheap prices but very high quality, please contact us today. Well, first you need to take your logo, your text, whatever you want to do, and drag it over to a piece of wood. Because we're going to basically carve this logo into the wood, make it look very realistic like I previously said. So, first, like I said, drag your logo or your image. Secondly, click on the background layer. You see where my mouse is? Make sure it's unlocked. Layer, duplicate. After you duplicate that layer, I want you to move it above the logo so you shouldn't see your text or your logo anymore. For my Mac users, what we're going to do is we're going to click Command D. Hold down Command D while you click over the image of the layer and it should select just like this. Your next move is to make sure that the layer that is selected is also selected in the layers palette which should appear with a blue highlight. Your next move to do is go to select inverse. So basically we're cutting out everything, all the wood except for around the logo. Now you simply click back to the top layer of wood and select delete. You shouldn't see much change right now, but I want you to go to select and hit deselect. You should see a little bit of the logo appearing through the wood. What I want you to do now is either delete the uh, middle layer or just turn the eye off so you can't see it anymore. Make sure the top layer of the wood is still selected at that blue highlight. You shouldn't see any change. Next, go to Images, Adjustments, Curves. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this darker. And this is where you really start to see your change. Pull it down a little bit and watch the change. You see how now we can see how the, the logo looks like it's been watermarked onto the wood? You can either leave it at this effect to give a watermark. Or for the engraving, what this tip is really about, we're going to go to our effects. So double click this layer. Your effects layer style panel should now appear. And what I want you to do is click enter shadow. You start to see where I'm going with this. Turn your opacity to 100%. Make the distance smaller because you don't want it to be real blur. You want like a sharp cut. Your size, make it sharp as well. And then there you have it. An engraved wood logo into the wood. How does that look? It looks magnificent to me. I'm going to zoom in and you see how it's just a, a small shadow to give it the effect of the illusion that we've carved into this wood. I want to thank everyone for coming out and uh, viewing my tutorials. We have many more coming once a week. I promise I'm back. Make sure to check out the new website inhousegfx.com. I'm going to write it out for you. Inhousegfx. Dot com control a make this bigger make sure you visit this website right here for all your screen printed material right now we have a special for five dollar t-shirts anything you want on there one color one location five dollars thank you all very much for tuning in to another i am tony gfx tutorial